What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and in today's video we're finally here with the Kizuna Clash and this Kizuna Clash is very very special. Make sure to get to farming this event because we are receiving a bunch of new characters from Japan side of things that we hadn't received yet including four brand new super evolutions and three brand new Kizuna Clash characters. Now if we go over to the exchange we can actually have a little bit of a look in terms of what we will be receiving. Now I have completed box one but throughout box one you'll be seeing there are three separate characters that you can pick up you can pick up Ivankov Don Krieg and the Zor and Sanji character make sure to get all of these units and to get their limit break materials but of course there's also four super evolution characters you've got carrot highlighted at the top here but you've also got jack you have pudding and you also have brook all receiving super evolutions in this kizuna clash so before we actually get into the video with three different teams for each of the variations let's go ahead over to my character box and we'll actually break down what each of these brand new units do so here is the brand new ivankov this is the character that we're all playing against right now ivankov is an int free spirit cerebral with a free spirit and cerebral 3.5 times attack 1.2 health and three times recovery at the end of a turn actually pretty good for free to play you can do some things with that for sure and then a special ability 100,000 fixed damage to all enemies resilience and damage reduction removed by five turns and then changes block empty and bomb slots and badly matching slots into matching and then gives your free spirit and cerebral characters a two times attack boost for one turn again like for a free to play unit this is actually a very 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 good special ability and it is a damage dealing special as well which means you could do some really really nice things with that too the next character here is Zorajiro and Sangoro they are a quick slasher powerhouse character their captain effect will be boosting those two classes by 3.5 times with a 1.3 HP boost as well as giving you strength quick and recovery slots as matching so that is already really really nice captain effect for a just a regular free to play captain and then a special ability that will increase damage taken for the enemies by 1.3 times for two turns also does a hundred times his attack in typeless damage to all enemies and then changes block slots into recovery and then also gives you a chain boundary starting at 2.25 times for two turns so the fact that this is a free to play unit now that not only increases damage taken to the enemy but also gives you a chain boundary is phenomenal like this is legit one of the best free to play units that has released this year in my personal opinion also um when you limit break them i believe they make recovery beneficial to your team which obviously makes sense considering they can generate recovery slots for your crew so overall big big fan of this unit now the last unit here is actually don krieg now this character is a bit of an interesting one because this unit actually super evolves you will be receiving his skills in this kizuna clash so make sure to go ahead and check that out but we'll actually have a look at his fully evolved form because his fully evolved form is the best version of the unit so he's a strength driven powerhouse captain effect will be boosting driven by 3.5 with a 1.5 health boost boost their attack by 3.75 times if they specifically have a strength slot and then also increases the chances of those strength slots appearing in terms of captain ability like it's fine but having to specifically have strength slots is not a big thing that i like honestly pretty annoyed by that but then a special ability that reduces all enemies health by 10 percent another damage dealing special also will poison all enemies and then also cancels attack reducing slot effects for five turns what this means is is any slot that is counted as badly matching will now just count as a neutral slot for five turns also reduces the crew's bind and despair by five turns and doubles damage dealt to enemies that are inflicted with a poison effect for one turn and also gives you 90 percent damage reduction for one turn i mean self-procking conditional boost is always nice and binded despair removal you can never say no to that and uh, you know they're not a bad unit overall i don't think they're an awful unit so again you know pretty pretty decent but definitely more excited for zora and sanji that's for sure so intro out of the way now let's go ahead now jump into the video with the teams versus the kizuna clash against ivankov Jumping into this video today, we are going to be starting off with the Dex bosses and the three teams that I have for the Dex boss. First of which is going to be the free-to-play team, the one that was actually created in my preparation video for the Kizuna Clash. So if you guys have seen that video, you guys would understand how this team works. Having Vivi as one of the captains makes this particular fight incredibly easy as there are two different variations of special bind that you will receive. You'll receive some on stage two and also on stage three. And 
having VV as a captain resists up to 10 turns of special bind, so you don't need to worry about it at all. And the free to play buggy, you can also use him as well. He helps a lot because you actually get a full board of badly matching slots on the final boss stage. You can use that to change those into matching. Having VV is also great because she can also generate a full board of matching slots for your team as well. And her super type is also pretty good too, generating an attack boost for your crew. Now, after level 30, you're going to be dealing with despair on the final boss stage. The Dog Storm Coliseum unit actually removes that, as well as gives you a two times attack boost to your strength characters. The combination of Jimbei and then Stussy together give you a 2.25 times color affinity boost to your strength units, and then Dofi Treble for a really, really good chain lock. And now we move on to the other team that I was talking about in my preparation video that I was planning on using. We're going to be using Kaido Crew as our captain here with the combination of two Bond Clays and Buggy for the max ticket boost. And then also Toki to give us as much damage as we possibly can on the final boss fight. As well as Toki also allowing us to resist the despair that gets inflicted to our team on the final boss fight post level 30. Also with Yamato, we're able to generate some Wano slots for our crew and also give ourselves a huge chain boost with that as well. So in, ter in terms of damage, this is going to be super solid, provides an incredible amount of damage on this final boss fight as you guys will see, but it's actually not the team that I'm going to be using in this quest for farming. That team is going to be the other team you guys will see in this video today. So I'll leave you guys with Kaido crew absolutely destroying this content and we'll pick things up in the next team. Same. So the final dex team that I have in this video today is a very interesting one because this one team can actually take on all variations of the Evanco fight. Dex, Psy, and Strength boss fights. So this is just showing you guys how this one team clears this version of the quest. And you guys will be seeing also in the timeline or in the description of this video for the timestamps, uh, you can actually see this team clear all of the boss variations. You can just skip to those teams if you guys want to actually see them. But just showing you guys that this is a very incredible team with max ticket boost that gets through all the fights without having to change any of your characters, which makes it so much easier for getting through this event in general. So once this clip actually concludes, we'll start moving on to the Psy boss fights with a free-to-play team and then two other teams versus the Psy boss following this one here versus Dex.
And now we get to talk about the Psy boss fight this time around. Now, this is a very incredible team that really doesn't have that many issues getting through this fight, but I do make a very slight error in this recording, as you guys will see. I actually attack with Bon Clay before I break the barrier of Crocodile on stage two. So ideally, if you are using this team, make sure to remove the barrier first before attacking with Bon Clay so that you can actually kill the boss in one turn. Because as you, saw, as you guys will see here, I actually don't kill crocodile in one turn and obviously that's really really bad because it means we're inflicted with burn we don't get the attack boost on the final boss fight because robin does give us an attack boost if we hit a certain amount of perfects and that will mean that we get more damage on the final boss room but unfortunately make a bit of an error but make sure you attack with bond clay last and that will actually let this free-to-play team get through it but uh, a pretty incredible team that has really good damage with all free-to-play units it's a really really fun team to use Moving on now to one of the other teams that I had suggested in my actual uh, preparation video. This is using double Bond Clay Captains, and we have a couple of really cool characters here. We also have Yamato, which can change the block slots on the final boss stage into Wano slots, as well as doing the increased damage taken to the enemy, which is good. We also have the uh, Toki, because Toki is just such a powerful unit, granting 3.5 times attack and orb boost. Like, Toki is legit one of the most broken units in the game. I definitely have to bump her up in my next tier list video. That's for damn sure and uh, we're also using caesar clown we have the support of shiryu attached to him which means that on stage two when we're inflicted with poison and the poison slots we can actually change those into matching slots allowing us to get through that barrier of course and caesar we can use him on stage two and on stage three to get a guaranteed conditional boost which just allows us to get through this boss stage a lot a lot easier and uh in terms of damage this team is really really strong but as I said, this is not going to be my actual farming team unless if I get super deep in this Kizuna and I need additional damage to get through it. This is not going to be my target team, but still, nonetheless, a very good team in this event. And then, of course, here is the secondary clip of the one team versus all bosses in the Psy variation this time around. And uh, we are going to be using the Toki special this time, not on our two captains. We don't need Ace to get the boost this time. Ace is not going to be super effective against the boss fight. However, we don't have to avoid despair this time around either. So we actually get a little bit of uh, free usage on using the uh, Toki on our two Bon Clay characters, which is great. And another thing that's good is we don't really have a character that removes poison but we actually have access to the Ivankov support that actually can attach to Bon Clay luckily enough so we are able to remove that poison and because Ace actually has barrier penetration the amount of damage that we actually do here is very good because we can activate one of our Bon Clays giving Ace a color affinity boost and because he has inherent type advantage on this boss fight we can use his barrier penetration to absolutely destroy Crocodile. Moving on to the next stage with the two Toki boosts active on the Bon Clays, we're able to get all of our buffs active. Unfortunately, Ace will not provide the chain boundary effect that 
would have been a really great addition to this team and would have given us a huge amount of damage but uh, unfortunately we are unable to activate that but despite that it's not really that big of a deal we still are able to do really good damage here so we don't have to worry about it too much just we are relying on chain boost via supports and also sugar to give us the most damage possible And now we can go ahead and look at the final boss variation versus strength. Now this free to play team did have to go through a very slight change because one thing that was not listed in the infographic that I was using to build these teams is that on stage two, not only are you special reversed, but you're actually given that debuff where you can't actually charge your specials unless if you hit a certain tap timing. So there aren't really any ways to get around that. The only real way to get around it is like a special ability that reduces your character's cooldowns. So we're using Kizuna Okiku this time around to give us uh, some cooldown reduction and also Onami and the uh, Orobi character allow us to get an orb boost so definitely a very useful character here just to get through this fight um, a little bit easier. Uh, Buggy also for his amazing utility we have Kuja Pirates which actually when you look at it we literally have just over 51,000 HP which means that we are able to get the guaranteed delay and conditional boost with the Kuja Pirates also providing a two times attack boost. Bond Clay for the color affinity to our free spirit character characters and then we have the Lucy character who is also a free spirit unit but he's also an orb booster so we have an orb boost attack boost conditional boost and also a color affinity boost and a full board of matching slots so actually a pretty solid free to play team against the strength variation of Ivankov. Looking at the next team, this is the uh, other team that I was planning on using, which is using Versus Ace. Versus Ace is such an incredible captain here because he actually can get rid of the special reverse that gets inflicted to us on stage two. So it means that we really don't have to worry about it at all. And we can use a Bond Clay special for color affinity and get through stage two, absolutely no issues. We have Kuja Pirates once again for attack boost plus conditional boost, which actually ends up being more damage than using like Final Tap Luffy, for example. Like Final Tap Luffy with his 2.75 times attack boost is good but a two times attack boost and a guaranteed 1.5 times conditional a little bit hard to beat right uh, also buggy once again and then sugar it just allows us to get more damage and obviously later on down the road this fight will apply paralysis to our team but because we're using sugar we actually don't have to remove the paralysis which makes it so much easier for this boss fight i'll leave you guys with the rest of this and we'll move on to the one team versus all fights in the next clip Finally, at the final clip of the video with the one team versus all bosses, this time having a look at the strength variation. This particular team is very, very similar to the previous clip looking at the versus ace team against this fight. And it works in a very similar manner. We have sugar to get around the paralysis. We have ace to get around the special reverse, all the boosters, of course. And then our final character is just going to be Toki because Toki just is awesome, uh, of course, because we already know we've using this team versus all the bosses so far. You guys already 
know how this team works. Toki is such an incredible unit. Definitely one of my favorite legends to use these days. But with all that being said, guys, that is going to wrap up this video today. Thank you so, so much for watching the video. And if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content that I post on my channel, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But on that, guys, I'll see you guys within the next video.